Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little different than my normal videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a zine. What is a zine? No, I'm asking because I'm doing research and there seems to be no rules to what it actually is besides how to make them. But there is history behind how they got invented, so let me mention that first. In the 1930s, zines were created by the sci-fi fandoms of the time to connect with each other in a unique way, fan magazines. Self-published and non-commercial, they were made out of love and self-expression. When the counterculture movements associated with the Beat Generation, a movement of young people in the 50s who rejected conventional society in favor of free sexuality and recreational drugs, started to grow the underground press, it was huge in popularizing zines and connecting people across the US. Over the years, zines have been an outlet for the people, a non-commercial and genuine expression of people's ideologies, dreams, and everything in between. They were very popular in the 80s and 90s punk scenes as a way of radical self-expression and beliefs which led them to still being relevant today. While the internet has taken away a lot of the paper and real-life expressions people do, I think we need zines more than ever because of that. So today, I'm teaching you how to make them. Okay, first you're going to want to get a piece of paper. It can be any type. I use multimedia usually, but it's easier if you use a plain white piece. So first you're going to fold it in half. What was it called? Uh, hamburger and not hot dog way. There we go. <laughs> right? And then you're going to fold it in half again, just like this. I'm struggling a little because I want it to be perfect, but I know it's not going to end up perfect because nothing is perfect and that's okay. So then you're going to want to open it up and you're going to put it down so it's like a tent, so it's going up. Then you're going to fold the sides in to the middle line, just like that. I really want it to be straight, but I know it's not going to because I am very gay. That was a dumb joke, I apologize. So you're gonna <laughs> fold the other side into the middle, like you did on the other side. There we go. And now you're gonna see that it's kind of a W, um, so you're going to straighten out the middle piece. And then you're gonna get some scissors, and you're gonna cut along the middle line in the middle part. You're gonna cut along that line right there. Be careful not to cut any other part except that part, because that's the most important part of making a zine. So then you're going to fold it into itself, and then you're going to straighten out these pieces right here on the sides, so that it kind of looks like there's a diamond in the middle. So then you just fold it up like that, and there you go! Um, I usually take a minute to try to straighten them all out, but in all honesty, it's kind of impossible to get a perfect one because <laughs> when you try to straighten it out, the paper kind of folds in on itself in weird ways. I'm pretty sure that this one actually has a little piece of it that's messed up. Yep, if you saw right there, that's, that's not what you want to not do, so <laughs> maybe don't try to straighten it out as much as I did. And there we go! I've also got a few examples in what you can use them for without feeling pressured into making something deep or meaningful, as zines are just fun regardless of that. You can make a mini sketchbook if you're artistic and you want to doodle in a cute little book, like at school or even at home. Or you can make an anatomy study book. I think that's super useful, having a small little thing you can just do anatomy in. Alternatively, if you're not artistic, you can make one to track your mood during the day in a unique way. or you can do other things. You can make like a mini comic book. Um, you don't have to be artistic to do that really. Um, you can make just little books in general, like a little mini book that you can share with your friends. I like using them as a way to express my darker feelings. You know, angsty shit. I made one here out of many different multimedia supplies, as zines look super cool when you do that, and I think it really adds to it. Zines are super fun to make, and I hope I sparked some creativity in you all with this video. Bye guys!